Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and State Farm. This time we're going to talk about how the professionals figure out which tires and wheels will fit on your car. And for that information, we have Matt Edmonds, our tire expert. Matt, welcome back to Goss's Garage. Pleasure to be here, Pat. All right. Now, aftermarket tires and wheels and so on, very popular. They are. They are. It's something that people can do. You can upgrade your vehicle, make your vehicle look nice, make it personal. Uh, a lot of people many times will say wheels are like jewelry for your car. And that's really what they are. There's something, something that really makes it yours and makes it stand out from the crowd. Okay. But, you know, there, there's tens of thousands of different wheels out there. How do you figure out what's going to fit? Well, that being said that they're jewelry, they're very technical, as you mentioned. I mean, we have to make sure that with the tire and wheel off, we see all of these components that are behind it, the brakes, the suspension, you know, things that we have to make sure that we clear properly. So one of the things that you have to do is you can go in and use what's called a ferro arm to really digitize this area. And once it's been digitized, you can then virtually fit wheels on it. Um, that makes sure that we clear everything. But before that, we've gone through and you have to make sure that the wheels have the right load carrying capacity, that they have the right bolt circle, the center bore, they're the proper offset. Uh, it's very important to make sure that all those technical aspects are taken care of. All right now, this ferro arm that you're talking about, uh, for certain automotive uh, engine things and so on, you use a unit that has a little pointer, you mm -hmm. touch all these different spots and it gives you the readings. Is it something like that? Well, that was the original ferro arm. The new version of the ferro arm that we now use has a sonar on it. So it's actually taking tens of thousands of points of information and gives you a model that really looks 3D. And you can actually take it and spin it and rotate it and virtually place these tires and wheels onto that this, this area of the vehicle, shall we say. OK. Now, different manufacturers, even though the tire may be the same dimension as far as the numbers are concerned, sure. the actual dimensions are different. They do. The, the profile changes. So what we do is within a size of tire, we'll take the extreme, whatever is the largest uh, variant of that, and we will then virtually place that on the wheel section so that we make sure that the tire clears, for instance, a suspension point up high that might give it an issue on turn in, uh, and then pay special attention to that suspension point to see if it moves uh, so that we know that we have those clearances. Okay, so it's science, not guesswork. Absolutely. The, it's just not a bunch of numbers and looking at pretty wheels, although that's really the best way as a consumer to shop for it, so you want to make sure you work with someone that has done the science behind it. Matt, thank you. And if you have a question or comment, drop us a line right here at MotorWeek.